How, how do I, where? This? There? There. Yeah? Hey, or should I face the water? I don't know. Oh, it's up to you. I need to play a little. See? <laughs> Hi, I'm Christopher Bill. I'm a YouTuber, trombonist, musician, and traveling around in a Model Y, and also living in it, and also recording in it, <laughs> and also eating in it, and everything. So, it's in bed mode right now, as you can see. It's a nice long bed. I'm a tall guy, but I fit perfectly in it. Um, here, I can even turn on a light for you in there, so it'll feel better. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's been amazing. I've been on it for six months now. And um, yeah, two thirds is the bed. One third is all the shelving. Obviously you see a keyboard up here. Uh, this is my stove top. It comes down pretty easily, so I'll show you how that works. It's my food bin, which was supposed to be a sink. And then, yeah, this stays attached with some paracord so it doesn't jostle around. The stove comes out, and then it comes down, slides out, and it's all electric. I decided to go all electric, no gas, uh, and use solar for all of my energy. There's snow. Very exciting. <laughs> Uh, so, I have a little Velcro here that you can see, which allows me to pull my faucet back when I'm cooking. And I can actually have the sink here or my pot and use the faucet, uh, which is great. You can Velcro down and then back to the front where I can use it when I'm moving or sleeping. Okay, so that's kitchen mode. And I'll pack it back up. Happens real fast. A little bit of storage down here. That's where my refrigerator is, but I'll show you that in a second. When you get out of bed mode. Kitchen stuff goes down there. So, you ready for the transition from bed mode? Okay. Let's go. Here we go. I've never shown anybody the actual transition. I don't know how exciting it is, but maybe very. So I move all my bedding to two thirds of the car. Deflate the bed just a bit. This is an X-Ped mattress. It's one of the comfiest mattresses I've ever slept on. Maybe the comfiest, not a sponsor. So, now that it's deflating, we can move back here. This up. And here's the magic. This is the bed frame that we custom made with my father is hinged so I can actually get in to the fridge. Mostly condiments, salad, some um, uh, soy milk. That kind of stuff, peanut butter and jelly. Uh, just enough, but you can actually turn it into a freezer as well. Got my knives and cutting board, all that stuff. Here, I'll 
open it up better for you. That's where all those live. Uh, my <laughs> CCS chart. Don't. Oh, what, what do you have? <laughs> my phone number's there. Don't show me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just in case I accidentally leave it in a charger someday. Oh, if someone finds it, they'll just take it. Yeah, probably. But you know, I like, give them an option to give it back. <laughs> if I saw a phone number, I'm not, I'd call it. Uh, and then this is a cool hinged leg that allows me to actually get the fridge in and out if I want to go camping or something and actually take the fridge with me. I have literally never done it, but that's what it's for. Over here, I've got a giant extension cable so I can plug the car in or my electronics anywhere I need and all my adapters for different RV parks and things over there. And here we go. So the bed frame actually slides back. and folds on itself, which allows the bed to actually be stowed all the way in the top. So, with that, it all fits nicely right there. Didn't even have to press it. I don't know what a good angle to see this is, but. Right. So yes. Can I open your front door? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> so, this I'll pull out for a second so we can look at it. But this is a desk slash table you can see it covers up that part where your feet usually go to extend the bed frame but it's also a card table so I can use it outside to cook on to do whatever we need to do and I can use it to eat on inside the car because it fits there. but with the bedding all folded back I can actually fold the seats and now we're in work mode or recording mode, whatever. And all my equipment's right here for recording. So I've got my interface for audio recording. This is actually a mic stand that I'm using for a light right now, but I can put a microphone on it, have that be anywhere I need. Uh, this is where all my laptop stuff is. So keyboard, laptop, all that. If you ever see my car and wanna steal all my stuff, now you'll know. Um, all my cables and things live over here. Big camera. These nice mixing speakers I can put out. And a little bit more storage underneath for like editing wheel and microphones and stuff. Um, just behind this is where all my clothes are. So there's two cubbies here for all my clothes. And it is messy the day after you do laundry. <laughs> But the day you do laundry, it's great. Um, a little bit of storage on top where I just have kind of miscellaneous items when I'm parked. When I'm not parked, you really got to take them down because they'll slide all over the place. And I'll move some stuff down here so you can see without it looking messy. But down here we have the power of the operation and some <laughs> groceries. So down here is the Jackery 1500, which is the power station that powers basically everything, all my equipment, um, and my internet, all of it. Uh, and so I have all the cables that go to that, all the solar panels, everything. Um, plugs right into that. And that's the back. So We'll throw the table in so we can see that. That's basically the modes we have. Let's move the table in. Okay, now you're working. Now I'm working. Pull out my laptop. huge table. I could actually have my keyboard here too. Mouse. 
like it's really enough I could put my speakers out and everything it's kind of like I, I never left my house um, especially with like the window blinders up like I don't even notice the outside world it really feels like I'm back at home just working yeah so that's that side and you can't put the seat back with it like this because uh, it hits but you can fold it a little bit just kind of like that and then it's it's fine or fully stowed which is actually kind of nice is like that okay do you usually drive like this or do you have your back down um usually like this um once in a while if i like all i'm doing is sleeping and i don't want to stow the bed completely i'll just push it back a little bit and then there's enough room for the bed and that you do have to deflate it every time you drive which you know the joys of living in a car uh from here i'll put my driver profile back on Bring the seat back and this is what happens every time you switch things over so this is acoustic foam for when i'm recording yeah and i kind of put it up around the glass everywhere i can uh to make it a little bit better to record i also use this foam for everything because it's really comfy to sit on or i put it under my pillows to kind of prop up my head if i, I need more uh -huh. so it's definitely served many purposes just because it was within arm's reach nice um they also don't deform right they don't deform no i mean they're sturdy so here's some like the blackout curtains i'm sure you've seen for the windows perfectly for the y saved my life you were really excited about this so i'll show you this is for the front window it's just <laughs> umbrella style um yeah when i found this it was game changer and usually these actually fit nicely right behind that table so slide right in and usually when you drive yeah do you always keep the blinds uh up for the back windows um when i'm driving i try to take everything down the one that sometimes i don't is the back just because I have to, like I can reach everything from the driver's seat besides the back but if I'm driving long distances or in cities where I really want to see out of the back what's cool is like even with the bedding there I can get it down low enough where I can see out the back window um, but yeah and then all my instruments live in the passenger seat all my cables and my one of my backpacks so I have two trombones a trumpet <laughs> some food whatever is in there um yeah okay cool front <laughs> oh yeah the front so here right now we have some of the batteries because we were camping uh but we have a tent tarp all of my camping stuff lives up here stuff that i don't need to get from inside the car if i need to get the camping stuff it's because i'm getting out of the car so a little camping chair some this is my camping backpack for hiking and stuff, fire starters, all of that. And then also the Starlink internet lives up here, which is there right now. Um, so usually these two batteries, the Rock Pals batteries, will be just in my passenger seat. And one thing is I have to make sure I buckle the seat belt so it doesn't tell me because <laughs> it thinks somebody's sitting there with the weight of these. Mm -hmm. But I learned that. And yeah. So all the camping stuff actually all fits in here with the Starlink satellite and I'll, I can pack that up and you can see how that looks. Okay. And then, uh, finally, all the solar panels live over here. Uh, and again, if you want to see me packing one of them up or anything. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. So. Done. It's very simple. I would say not a sponsor, but they are, so. so I 
that. And the process is the same for all four, but for five now. I'm gonna come around to this side, I'll show you what that looks like. So just in this little space, there's a uh, ledge here that we built into this uh, shelving unit. And it's nice because without them, I could get to all my cables uh, to plug in my interface if anything goes wrong. And then simply just attach it there. And then with all five of them, they'll fit here and I can close the door. And again, the only time I would need to get to this is when I'm setting them out. So getting out of the car to get to them is not a big deal. Six gallon water tank there. And then underneath that, there's a little bit of storage for some water supplies and different things. This is a trombone stand and microphone stands and tripods and all that. Okay, so wait, oh, was I supposed to say something? Yeah. Was I supposed to say something? Why are you traveling and living so in your car? So I was living for 10 years making YouTube videos in my house in upstate New York. Yeah. And I decided it was time for something different. And something different was meeting people and making collaborations with musicians and seeing beautiful places. So that's where I am and that's what I'm doing. And today it happens to be outside of Vancouver. And tomorrow, who knows? I had met so many people over the years that were musicians, all their creators, work, working virtually, and this whole tour is basically going out and meeting them in person. Even though maybe we've worked together before virtually, now I'm just going and meeting them where they are. And of course the collaborations are better because of it, because we could spend a week together in person and making music or making weird art. I mean, I've collaborated with musicians, I've collaborated with scientists, I collaborated with a professional soccer player. Like it, it's really all, all over the place and it's super fun to like figure out how our passions can actually combine and make something cool. Yeah. Amazing. So there we are. Where can people find you? At Classical Trombone on everything. Super easy. Or collabacrossamerica.com. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yay. Friends. Yeah. <laughs>